the uh, the skin color. I don't know. Like, like I'm not going to lose a third time. Next time, I'll really let you have it. Okay. Oop, crap, bugs. All right. Lots and lots and lots of bugs. Um, damn. Okay, so. If you can rush me, um, let's do that. Let's do deploy. And then for the back rank. Defend. I'm glad I activated deploy. Can I fast forward through this, please? Okay. Okay. All right, how are we doing for time? All right. All right, 
not worried about other one. I'll just want to leave you alone. More spiders. Just as goddamn many of me. You know what? Oh, they're friendly. Good. Hi, it isn't Catherine. Howdy, it's been a mile. How's business? Alright, I guess. The town folks are poor, so it hasn't been that good. Same here, same here. By the way, I'm doing a blood drive. Will you donate some blood? Blood drive, sure. We got monsters just gotta help each other in times like this. You know, you're really good to do this. But you look kinda pale. Shouldn't you be the one receiving blood instead of giving it? No need for you to worry. I'm already dead. Oh yeah, that's right. For forgot about that. <laughs> All right. Well, take as much as you want. Bro held his arm out to Catherine. Catherine took some blood from Rogue's arm and put it in several small vials. I'm done. Thanks for your cooperation. Not a problem. See you later. <laughs> I've gotten another five thieves thieves thief blood. That was too easy. Francois isn't smart enough. You have to use your brain. Like me. <laughs> okay. So that's how that works. Well, I finished exploring this level. Pick this up the stairs. Oh, shortcut to B1. Where does this drop me off at? I'm actually really want to know. Huh. Um, okay. Which Okay, that's neat. And now I gotta shortcut down to B five. And I got a couple extra of the the hound's teeth. Alright, when I go on my way out, I can swing by the, or, or Hound's Ears, I can swing by the Monster Shop, or, or Material Shop, rather. Okay, this works out nicely. All right, so now do you have Ninja Hood, Priest Terror? You don't have the Frog's Tongue. Let me find a demon's heart so I can sell that. And pop into Helga's room.
Nah, we'll leave that alone. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go... I so they picked up all those freaking extra heat transfer potions. I'm just going to use one of those now. Let's go to the bar first. So we're going to turn in these quests. I did not think the Flash could change a person's heart so much. It was Fawn, the chief of the elves. The sacred town you'd be filled with joy under the queen. But now they speak of the future like it is just a memory. I feel the sorrow of the past in their words. It is like they are trying to say that it's impossible to struggle against fate. Then again, I can't say much since I hired you. Why don't you bring back music to him? I'm sorry it was such a difficult quest. How did it go? Lucida stepped in. Lucida stepped in. I was saved by your people before. It may be impudent, but I wanted to repay you. Waiting for death deep in the forest, the song gave me hope and life. Would you let me sing the song that she sang? Vaughn seemed to have felt something from her words. He was quietly listening to Lucida's voice. A water bottle. Your voice sounds like hers. Vaughn said that as he looked at Lucida. You sound like a girl that we all loved. They say that her voice is the melody of the soul. Yours must be a gift from the heavens. Could you give life to my dying heart? Sita nodded. She took a deep breath and calmed herself down. The noisy tavern became silent. No pressure. The beautiful voice that echoed from Lucida's lips moved the soul of anyone who heard it. You could sense her feelings, the sad, trying feelings. The song had power, that of a person who believes in love, even in times of despair. Fond this this melody for a while, but suddenly his face cloudy and looked up to the heavens. Thank you. It was a wonderful song. I didn't realize it's not the music that's disappeared. It's the beautiful world that has left us. Vaughn turned to Lucida and bowed. Thanks to you have been saved. I appreciate it. I did not want... I just did not want to know the truth. I must forever live in darkness. Vaughn smiled feebly and left. Reality is such a bitter thing. Or was always such a bitter thing. Got a mithril ornament. And a bunch of XP. I guess I wasn't able to help him. But I understand how he felt. Ever since the flash, any song sounds heart-wrenching. It feels nostalgic, like a song yearning for the past. Funny, isn't it? But it's true. Lucida looked sad, smiled as he said that, but her smile looked sad. Ah, there you are! I figured it was about time that you guys came back. back. I just got here, too. You got it, didn't you? A hound's here? Before you even take it out, Helga snatches the bag from you. This is it, a hound's ear. Wow, it's so fluffy. How cute. No, 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 now's not the time for that. I feel sorry for it, but I can't sacrifice my plans to get rich. If I'm rich, I'll make a grave for that poor hound. Gotta get going. Stop by my room if you want. Bye-bye. Oh, we have... I got a combo mace.
and 500 XP. Two more party members. All right. Okay, please find Hannah is the next quest. Quest. Hey, are you here to do me a favor? The man with the eyes of a beast appeared in front of you. He whispered, I want you to find a girl. Her name was Hannah. She's a cute, brave girl. She was embarrassed. The name was Geese Greenlee. He said that he was a well known warrior. Do you believe in fate? Love at first sight is a bit cheesy, though. When I first met her, I felt it inside. You know what I mean? Guys like me are satisfied risking our lives, holding women and drinking booze. <laughs> That's right. Until I met her. She smiled childishly. She stood up for the rest, and so I promised her that when I'd saved enough money, we'd live together. An adventure, at the very least, no ways of making a lot of money. Simple, just beat any monster that crosses your path. The stronger they are, the more money they carry. I finally made enough money after defeating a lesser demon. He let out a, key, a deep sigh. When I got back to the labyrinth, I discovered Hannah was gone. If she'd gotten tired of me, I understand. But knowing her, she'd leave a note or something. Of course, I'll look for her, but I want to help. I'm counting on, on, on help. I'm counting on you. All right, got that quest taken on. Hey, you! Lydia walked towards you. She seemed to be in a bad mood. Who do you think you are, tricking me? They sent to my quest again. What? It's a, what's a material shop? The other job, he said that he would quit his monster shop. But right after I paid you, he came to me and said this. I started a material shop, you hear? Well, my heart was going to jump out. It's all your fault. You put some weird idea into his head, didn't you? This is perfect. You're probably here to poke fun at me. I'm not letting you off. You're going to take full responsibility for this. Hurry up and crush his material shop. No, you can't. It'll be the same as always. We'll just start a new business. We just started to think of ways to stop him. I got it. He just wanted to play a store owner. So if he succeeds, he'll get tired of it. Then finally he'll change and get a decent job. Let's use that. Pretend you're a customer and help him succeed. Since he just started, he doesn't have much merchandise. If you sell him every type of material so he has a big selection, he'll get tired of buying back items and eventually get tired of his business. It was my mistake to let you handle anything. This time, you'll do what I say. He walked, walked, Frisky walked away, still in the bad mood. mood. I get a lot of XP if I complete this quest. I heard to see if he had the rotten meat. The rotten flesh. Alright, Kyo is level 12, and so is Durgan. Let's go to the shop, deal with that unidentified dagger and axe.
Cursed Battle Axe. No. Okay. I think I've already got the sculpture venom. What was the sculpture venom? Okay, so no, I had not made the Sculpture Venom, so I need to go back and buy the Frog Tongue. Uh, so I need to go back, buy back the Frog Tongue. Um, so I've got everything for those two. All right, let's level up that uh, that spell. Okay, I'm grab a notepad real fast. I need to put together, actually need to put together my list of um, materials I need for vellum so I can start crafting those real quick. Okay. 
so sculpture is a priest. So sculpture and silence are both priest spells. Okay, so. You get one. Sprog tongue. Alright. And I haven't gotten a demon egg yet, so I can't do the healing venom, which is what I'd like to do. So that one get cures paralysis. And I haven't gotten either a dragon heart or a I think I've got a dragon heart, but I haven't gotten a bishop's bracelet, so I haven't can't do that one yet. Okay. I'm just gonna mark right and neat on those two just to be safe. Okay. Save my game. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.